In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, a botched interview. This botched interview with BBC has been the highlight of the internet over the last week. In the last four days, it's garnished over 16 million views and counting. The premise is this, Professor Robert Kelly is getting interviewed by BBC. I don't know what he's getting interviewed about, probably something important, maybe like nuclear war or climate change. And as he's doing this on his webcam, his daughter walks in the door. One of those scandals. Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? Not only does she walk in the door, she flies in the door. And she doesn't care if she's on BBC. She doesn't care who's watching. She's flying to see her daddy. At first you can tell Professor Kelly sees his daughter through his own little viewfinder, but he's trying to play it off. But then the host of BBC calls him out and is like, I, th I think your kid has entered the room. For the wider region, I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean At this point, he poops himself. He tries to stay professional. He apologizes profusely, but the situation only gets worse. Um, I would be surprised if they do. The, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. At this point, the interview is done. <laughs> the mom's still trying to get him out, but it's a tough task dragging a toddler and an infant fetus child who's in some type of contraption. What is this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choice. I'm sure at the time Professor Kelly was just raging on the inside deciding how he's going to punish his daughter. But as time goes on, I'm sure he'll learn to laugh about it as well. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is laughing at your situation. So that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.